potentiometer. The terminal voltage of the battery is given by V equals to epsilon minus IR. When we try to measure EMF of the battery using a voltmeter, some current does flow through the battery. Hence, voltmeter measures terminal voltage V and not the EMF epsilon. If the term IR in the above equation is zero, then only the voltmeter can measure EMF of the battery. As internal resistance of the battery is not zero, this means that the current I must be zero. This is not possible in a voltmeter. Hence, voltmeter cannot measure EMF of the battery. To measure EMF of the battery, a device known as potentiometer is used. Principle Potentiometer Comparison of EMFs of two cells. This instrument is identical to the meter bridge except that in this case the resistance wire is of more than a meter length. This enables greater accuracy. A standard cell of EMF epsilon 1 maintains a constant current throughout the wire. As the wire is of uniform material and cross section, it has uniform resistance per unit length. The potential gradient, that is R, depends upon the current in the wire. If an EMF epsilon 1 is balanced against the length, say L1, we have epsilon 1 equals to rho L1 equation 1. Similarly, if another EMF epsilon 2 is balanced against the length, say L2, we have epsilon 2 equals to rho L2 equation 2. From equation 1 and 2, we have epsilon 1 by epsilon 2 equals to L1 by L2. From the above figure, by means of a battery B and rheostat RH1, a steady current is passed through the potentiometer via AC. Two cells, epsilon 1 and epsilon 2, whose EMFs are to be compared, are put in such a way that positive terminals are connected to A and negative terminal to the galvanometer through a two-way plug key. First, the cell epsilon 1 is connected by connecting one and three points of key K2 and by moving the jockey K on the potentiometer wire. The no deflection point is obtained. Let the reading be L1, then epsilon 1 equals to rho L1, where R is a potential gradient and L1 is the length Cn. After this, the points 2 and 3 of the key K2 are connected. That is, the cell of EMF, epsilon 2, is put into the circuit and again the no deflection point on the wire is obtained. Let this reading be L2, then epsilon 2 equals to rho L2, epsilon 1 by epsilon 2 equals to L1 by L2. Different sets of observations are taken by varying the variable resistance Rk and then mean value of ratio is computed.